These things are super invasive. Oh, my BFS versus his, his BFS. Water through the gills so he can jump off. I'm on, I'm on, I'm beating you. I'm beating you. And since it's colder weather, it's kind of work it really slow. And if you don't talk trash with the guys you're fishing with, can you even call yourself friends? You know, I think that's like, that's an unwritten rule of fishing with buddies, right? You have to talk that, that talk smack. That smack. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today, we're doing a BFS challenge. It's gonna be me versus 305 Guys Fishing, AKA Carlos, AKA Line Crosser. I don't think he likes that name, but he, he's stuck with it for life. All it takes is one time, guys, and then that nickname sticks. Today, we're gonna BFS it. I've got the Cast King Kestrel Elite. This is an ultralight reel combo. I've got it on the Paragi 2. I'm gonna be using just a little swim bait. It's a cold front, so I'm gonna have a little little bit of weight on the front. I just lost his eyeball. Brand new, already lost an eyeball. Didn't even get hit by a fish yet. And since it's colder weather, it's kind of work it really slow. Hopefully I can get a large mouth or a peacock bass. But with that being said, I went and had breakfast. I was all wrapped up in a hoodie and long pants and stuff. I already took them off, so it is warming up rapidly. This is Miami. What happens is when you wake up, for us, it's freezing. It was like 62 degrees, 60 degrees, something like that. And now it's in like already almost the mid 70s. It takes longer for the water to warm up, but hopefully I can still catch a fish. Let's go, guys. There's our friendly neighborhood swamp puppy, guys. Drop a comment and let me know what size you think he is. But you know what that means? When there's a gator, there's typically no fish, and we're gonna move on to the next location. The homie Carlos just showed up, flexing with the CEO, Catch Everything Outdoors brand of clothing. Also got, got it on the hats right there. What's up? Buy a hat, guys. And I got, I got Eric from Livingston calling me right now. So let me take this call and I'll be right back. Just hopped off the call with Livingston. He was telling me about some lures. If you guys wanna check out some really kick-ass bass and fishing lures, Check out Livingston. The link is in the description below. If you're in Miami, you can go straight over to the real hooker bait and tackle and buy some today. De pinga, man. You're Cuban, right? Because you're on Cuban time. Let's go. Más rápido. Come on. Más rápido, por favor. Did you get a colada yet today? No, I already drank one. I'm just saying you need one because you're moving too slow. I'm trying to beat you in a competition here. <laughs> Actually, I just need some footage of me talking shit because that's how we do it. All right, so alligator equals no fish. So we moved locations. Like I said, I'm here with Carlos 305 Guys Fishing. We're here at a location and we're targeting peacock bass and largemouth bass. Um, I'm using a super small, this is a 2.5 inch swim bait with a eighth ounce jig head. Very small setup for the ultralight BFS Kestrel Elite and we're gonna target some fish. I'm using this because I want the bait to drop slowly with just a little bit of action because we are in a cold front and you know, the fish are gonna be more hesitant to bite. So if it's moving slow, it's an easier target and easier to eat. You ready to do this? Hell yeah. All right, so what setup are you using? I have a Shimano SLX BFS XG. All right. So this is, this is the competition today right here. The Kestrel, look, mine, mine is smaller. Not this. So since this is my neighborhood, I want to give you, you know, a fair advantage. And I'm gonna let you cast first. All right. All right. So go ahead. You're up. And we're gonna we're gonna catch some fish today, guys. So stay tuned. You know, if you like fishing, you like the outdoors, little competitions. I do. We do all kinds of fun stuff over here. Then make sure you hit subscribe right now and turn on that notification bell. So when it is colder, I always like coming up to these brackish water areas because here, the other side of that spillway, salt water and this side's fresh water, but so many fish like to hunt and feed in the water here. And it's actually a little bit warmer, so you never know what's hanging out down at the bottom. It's probably about 10 to 12 feet deep right here. Let's say about 10. So it's in the aquifer. And down here in South Florida, when you're in the aquifer, that water is about 72 degrees. So a lot of these fish like to sit down there when a cold front comes through and they just sit and wait. Sometimes they're just chilling. But if I move it slow enough and just give it a little bit of a bounce here and there, you know, sometimes, sometimes they catch a fish. This uh, setup is so smooth and I've actually caught some big fish. I've caught some big snook on it already. Now, time to catch some big bass or peacocks. Hey Ryan, so you know I found a new tarpon spot, right? A new tarpon spot? Yeah, man. Like, 
Flooded. Fresh water? Yeah, fresh water. Flooded with tarpon. Is it a lake or a canal? It's a canal. Dang. Yeah. You're gonna have to take me. I'm gonna need them GPS coordinates if it, yeah. if you found a new tarpon spot. But you, you know what's crazy is I've actually saw a couple rolling right here. Um, and with this cold weather or this cold front we got, I mean for us it's cold, right? It's it was 60 degrees this morning. Now it's about feels like it's in the 70s already. Yeah. I'm actually sweating a little bit. But uh that does bring the the fish into these uh really brackish areas. So you never know, you might see a tarpon roll today. Let's hope we get one. Let's hope we get one. But you know what? It's time for me to cast. I gotta turn on the GoPro and uh as soon as we hook up on a fish, we'll be back. We were just talking about tarpon, a tarpon spot, and I literally, oh shit, shit, stay on. I literally just said that I've seen them here. What the hell? Hey, we're doing BFS real competition. Oh, oh, my BFS versus his, his BFS. And uh, we're gonna walk it around over here. Hopefully he stays on. It, I'm using such a lightweight hook. I do not want to mess this up. What the hell? Oh was I not just telling you, God, I've I've actually seen tarpon here. It's the, it's the time of year. Holy crap! Wow. Oh crap! crap, crap. Where can I get him in? I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Where's the hook at? I got him. No way. Got me a tarpon, guys. No way. Got me a tarpon. Hey, I got the flick of the wrist, my guy. <laughs> Just like that, man. That was probably what my third cast, and the one just rolled right there. This is my first tarpon in this system over here. Uh, I know I've seen them. This cold weather, this little cold front's got them pushed into the canals, and uh, hopefully we can get some more. But look at this beautiful, beautiful creature. We're gonna get him back in the water. Just wanna get some water through the gills so he can jump off, just like that. That's a safe release. I win. We're targeting bass here. That's a saltwater bass. We're still targeting bass. I might be able to use this again. Is it ripped all? Yeah, it's ripped all the way down the back, so it's not going to hold the hook anymore. So this is a 2.75 inch. But remember, when it's colder temperatures, slow moving bait with a little bit of action will catch you more fish. Got that one tarpon, which was a blessing. It's been a while since I caught a tarpon, and I absolutely love catching tarpon. I think snook and tarpon are tops of my list, but I'm about to add you know, a lot more fish because I've only caught one permit in my life and it was a small one. So I got to target some permit and uh, I definitely want to go after more redfish. So uh, if you like that, you know, make sure you're following and subscribe to the channel. Have your notifications on because I've got a lot of content coming up. I'm just trying to get a prop for my boat and that's it. I'll be back on the water. Pulling up to the next location. Hopefully I can catch a snook. I just got out of the truck. You're already fishing. I think that's cheating. That's cheating. I'm here trying to set up my cameras. Uh, he's trying to get a head start on me, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I don't see any fish either. Might not have been the best spot to show up at. You never know what's in the pipe. I do know that it smells like ass because of the dump. And it is strong, strong today. Nothing but stench. I'm gonna check. We're downwind. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's blowing right at us. I'm gonna check the other side real quick and then we can haul ass. <coughs> that's why it's, <coughs> that's why it stinks. <coughs> Dead ass German Shepherd right there. Big ass dog. I'm like, damn, it's starting to smell worse. That's what we're smelling downwind, not the dump. All right, I see current. Oh, I see fish. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm beating you. I'm beating you. I'm winning. I'm the winner. Champion, Brian, the CEO, CEO fishing. Catch everything outdoors, baby. Little peacock bass, little guy. You want to see what a fish looks like? When you get to hold it, yeah. quick release, boom, boom, just like that. Walked up to the spot, caught another fish. So I got a tarpon, I got a peacock bass. Carlos hasn't caught nothing, but it's okay because it's a competition. So that just means I'm winning.
I see a fish right there. Got another one. Got another one. Got another one. Carlos, you should be fishing. There it is right there, another peacock bass. Another one. Come on. Come on. What do we get? All right, just landed one of these Pleco. They are super invasive fish down here in South Florida, but they do have really cool armor. Look at the underbellies. Very pretty, pretty underbellies for an ugly fish. But yeah, these things are super invasive, so we don't like them. We're at the final location. I got a tarpon at the first spot, got zero fish at the second spot, third location, two peacocks and a Pleco. And now we're at the final destination to see if Carlos can even catch his first fish. The odds are against them though. The odds are against them because the weather for lake fishing right now, unless you're working it super slow, it ain't happening. Oh, never mind. Look at that. He got a fish. Dang. Good stuff, Carlos. He is on the board, guys. Everybody say, congrats, Carlos, you finally caught a fish. So just, just type, finally caught a fish, Carlos, and I'm gonna heart your comment, because Carlos finally caught a fish. We've only been at it for like, what, eight hours? No, I'm playing, it's been like two hours. You know what was nice about that, Carlos, and I'm very happy for you, is I was literally talking shit when you hooked the fish. So that can make you feel better about getting your ass kicked today in fishing. Hit like, hit subscribe. Share the videos, dude. If you share the videos, oh my gosh, that's like, that's one of the biggest things. You know, if people share my videos, it gets to more people. It shows that there's interest and YouTube is like, you know what? This guy's kind of cool, even for an old Asian. But yeah, guys, tell me, do you like what I'm doing on this channel? You know, I know it's a different vibe than the Monster Mike stuff, but this is the CEO channel. This is CEO Fishing, so I got to do things different. Good job, Carlos. Got another one. Yeah, come show the camera that fish. Show them the lure you're using too. Okay, they can't really hear you on the mic that I'm, I got because I the mic's over here on my hip. Japanese, ooh. Well, show the fish. Act like you've done this before. All right, nice. Fish, and then here's the lure. Lure inside. Lure inside. There it Those is. Japanese beautiful, lure. beautiful, beautiful. So that's two fish in this location for the Carlos Meister. That's the same fish twice, Carlos. That's not the same fish twice. Same fish twice, Carlos. <laughs> no. Watch it, he's gonna catch it a third time. No. So if you catch the same fish three or four times, is it considered four catches? Or is it considered one catch? Just a lot of action. Let me know in the comments, guys. He says the tarpon is just content for the channel. And I have to it's make it very clear. I have to make it very clear that the the me beating him, okay, right here, me beating him is the content for my channel. The tarpon, cherry on top. I'm very competitive. And I don't like letting people catch more fish. So we're clear. I've caught four fish. You caught three. Actually, you only got two bass. I got two peacocks, one tarpon, one placo. Carlos got two peacocks. Count. Let's do the math. Does the tarpon count? He keeps saying the tarpon does not count. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit subscribe. The button is right there. Turn on your notification bell. And as usual, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.